Hello pianist! In this video I will introduce how to name the black keys. I'll explain whole and half steps and use those whole and half steps to construct major five finger scales. Okay, so in our previous lessons I taught you how to use the music alphabet to name all of the white keys, to use your black keys to name the groups of threes and the groups of four white keys, so hopefully you've been practicing that, but as you notice there's a lot more keys on the piano to name. So we're gonna start with how you name these black keys. So find that familiar middle C, make sure you're sitting correctly, nice and tall, your feet are flat, you're leaning forward, and we have this level wrist. So set your body and your hand position back to that middle C. So if I play the key immediately to the right of C, it is called C sharp. You might think of that as a hashtag, but it used to be called A sharp. So whenever things go to the right, remember right on the piano means higher. Sharp also means higher. So if I go D to the right higher, I have D sharp. Same thing, let's skip to our groups of three black keys. Maybe you're getting it, F goes up one to the right. I have F sharp, G one up to the right, G sharp, A one up to the right, and I have A sharp. So just practice finding, maybe your friend can call out, find G sharp, there's G sharp. Find D sharp, D sharp. And that will be the same names wherever you go on the keyboard, C sharp, up high, A sharp, even down low. So you can practice those until those get comfortable. Next, let's move on to how to name them as flats. So every black key actually has two note names, a sharp or a flat. It just depends on what scale you're playing in. So I'll explain that next. So if we think about something going flat, think like if you have a flat tire on a bike or a car, it goes lower. Remember on the piano, lower means left. They both start with L go back and find that middle C. Let's just use our left hand for some practice. D, one lower to the left, and I have D flat. Same thing with E, one lower to the left, E flat, hopefully you're getting it, G one lower, G flat, A one lower, A flat, B one lower is B flat. Notice it always is to the left of the note, so as you play, you see that accidental, which is the name for a sharper flat, and you remember to adjust that note. So I'll call it a couple of these, see if you can find them on your own. So find an E flat. You find your E, one lower to the left, E flat. Find an A flat, one lower to the left, and you have A flat. So practice those, pause it if you have to, before we go on to the next part of our video. Next, let's group these black and white keys into major five finger scales. So music is its own language. Just like we have letters that group into words, we have all of these notes at the piano and in music that group into patterns which are often called scales and chords. So I was just playing a C major five finger scale. So before we can jump into that, we're gonna have to learn about steps. Steps comes from the word scale, which in the Italian means a ladder. I think if you ever climbed a ladder, it has steps that you can go up and back down. So steps on the piano mean the very next note that you're playing. So C major means more cheerful, more happy, and time will also teach you the minor mode, which has a bit more somber, mysterious sound to it. So steps can also have specific types of steps as whole and half steps. So with me, put your thumb, your one, on middle C. Let me explain. So if you go to that very next note, C to C sharp, that is called a half step. It's more dissonant, it's a minor second, you might have heard it called that. There's also a half step between two white keys, E and F. So two halves make a whole. If I go one half step and another half step, C to D is a whole step or a major second. So the major five finger scales have a specific pattern of whole and half steps. You learn this and you can transpose it to start on any note and they will all sound similar in major quality. So start with me on C. C to D is a whole step up. D to E is a whole step up. E to F is a half step. F to G is a whole step. Let me show you that going down again. G down to F is a whole step. F down to E, half step. E down to D, whole step. D down to C, and we have a C major scale. So let's practice that one more time. We have C, start note, whole, whole, half, whole. Start, whole, whole, half, whole. Just memorize that, memorize that, get that comfortable. Now we're gonna practice transposing that scale pattern to a very popular key. Let's go down to B flat. 
put your thumb on B flat. It's a popular key for band, for jazz musicians as well. Go up a whole step from B flat, half to half. I have a whole step to C, half to half. I have a whole step up to D, half step is next. E flat, up a whole step is F. Let me start one more time at the bottom. Start note, whole, whole, half, whole. Back down, same notes, whole, half, whole, whole. I have a B flat major scale. So practice transposing that pattern to any starting note and you can build F sharp major, you can build D flat major. Let me also explain how do you choose to use a sharp or a flat when you name a scale. Let's go back to that B flat, perfect key for an example. So B flat to C. The scales use unique alphabet names. I've already used C, so I wouldn't call this C sharp. Next alphabet letter to use is D. I've already used D, so I wouldn't call that D sharp. I call it the next alphabet name of E flat, F, E flat, D, C, B flat. Okay, once you have these major scales constructed, we can also play a very an other important part of a, a pattern of music, just called a major triad. Major triads come from our major scales. It's a three note chord. Let's go back to the easy key of C major. Practice your C scale again. Then if you play notes in skips, where they skip over notes in between of C, E, G, I have a C major chord. And I play it with fingers one, three, and five. Left hand plays it with fingers five, three, and one. I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna roll off those major chords. Same thing in B flat, you play your scale first. Play fingers one, three, five. And I have a B flat major chord. Same thing in the left hand. So I would encourage you to go find your favorite piece you're listening to on the radio. You could do guitar tabs or just do a search of chords and you will find the words with chords written above it. If it's just the letter like C, you now know how to play C major. If you see a G chord, you would play a G chord, the three notes and skips from your scale. Lastly, I always like to give you something to practice to get your fingers stronger. You're going to use these major scales to do this little repetitive exercise. Your fingers need some practice, so you can use these words of I love playing piano. I love playing piano. So those four short notes, too long, relaxed hand, drop from the elbow, tall fingers, roll off the last notes. Practice good hand position. Never forget the left hand. Lastly, we'll practice left hand. I'm gonna start with my five on that lower C. I have to go slower for the left hand. Play on those finger pads. Nice level wrist. Thumb tall. Back down. Thank you.